we've made it to December the last month of the year and we start off with an away trip but with a ground and a club we haven't been to in the league since 2014 we've not played scrum for in a league game since 2014-15 the last time we went to Glanford Park it was that long ago Sean Derry was in charge and we were in League 1 and we won the game with an 89th minute penalty through Zeli Ishmael Obviously we've played two games at their ground in the League Cup in successive seasons but we haven't played them in the league since 2014-15 season. We have no excuses today. They are in rotten form and they have their top scorer out suspended. So we really have no excuses. And plus, our away form for once this season has actually been pretty good. Corn knots, corn pies. Let's do this. Yeah, I'm never, I'm never <laughs> winning the uh, quiz again, am I? The winner got 28. Name all the players who made over 600 Premier appearances. There are four of them: Giggs, Barry, Milner, Lampard. I miss Lampard. What? Skulls. Just forgot about him. Sausage roll for me with a white chocolate cookie. Uh, what have we gone for, KC? I, I forgot what you said. Sausage, beef, cheese, milk, chicken, bacon. <laughs> you can never ever go wrong with a Greg's. <laughs> You know, as soon as I see those players, I'm well, talking. A few changes. Castro is playing with Rodriguez, even sorry, Langstaff. Well, Ian O'Connor was three, but we played at York, really. Yeah, Kevin Scott is on the bench. And Scunthorpe have lost their last five, and they haven't, they haven't kept a clean sheet in their last 33 league games, or last 33 games. Knots uh, have... Uh, Knots have won two and drawn three of their last five, and we scored nine in our last five matches. So far, but nobody's been on the end of the Half time, and well, apart from that goal conceded, we've been in total control. And yeah, it looks like a goal actually woke us up because after that, it's been more way traffic. But 
this is not so anything can happen and we know, I know what we're like but yeah in the midfield Pomelo by the terrific they've been winning every second ball getting to the ball first First shot for Knox, Kevin's come off. Uh, he's had a good game. <laughs> Castro's had a good game to be fair. Uh, he's put himself about, got in the attacking third. And Sam Austin's replaced him. Again, we've had the majority of the possession. Let's go for more. They're there for the taking. 17 minutes to go, it's still 3-1. He's just returned. 17 minutes to go? Yeah. Is that it? Yeah. I've missed the old second half. very much have. You haven't missed much. We probably won't try the game one before half time. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my word! Ked went 4-1 after what seemed an inevitable goal, like everyone, they were, they were, they were queuing. Yeah, 4-1, uh, it's been a good day, it's been a really good day for us. I think your may have just scored. That was the last time we won an early kickoff. the game throughout really good away performance apart from that one moment where of course the goal that we conceded should have been defended better we gave him too we gave uh, Lavery too much time on the ball and yeah but good character shown yeah so if I've jumped quite quickly from like where we were on the bus to here but here we are anyways and yeah again i apologize for my nose throughout this vlog because i don't know what's wrong with it it's probably a dry nose and it's really annoying and i don't want to go into the issues anyways what a day 4-1 win back to the top of the league and a, a really good performance and having not played for two weeks and the disappointment from the oval game it looks like we spent them two weeks working really hard and working on our performance. Palmer and O'Brien dominated the ball and with it, the game itself, they were in complete control. And, you know, their quick incisive passing, their link-up play with Castro and Rodriguez really helped push us forward and get on the front foot. They linked up really well then for, especially as well with the wing-backs. I mean, for the, I think it's for the second goal. We counter really quickly. The ball goes out to Adebayo rolling. And then it goes to Castro. To O'Brien. We won every second ball today. We really fought well. Every time we did lose the ball. We were quick to win it back. And that's that's kind of our style this season. You know. We're cut prep. If we if we lose the ball. We counter press. We, we get the ball back as quick as possible. We don't let the opposition have any time on the ball. And Palmer and O'Brien were magnificent in the middle of the park today. And Castro, good. it was a good first half from him. I think he got substituted early in the second half. can't remember what minute he got subbed in. But yeah, a really good performance by Kevin. Um, good link-up play. He turned his man quite a few times. And he, he helped himself to a goal. And that's 19 for the season for the Langstaff. He's now level with what Wooten and Rodriguez got last season. And it's December. 
So if you are a club interested in Macaulay Langstaff and you want to buy him, please politely go away. And Slocum really just, well, he could have had a picnic, couldn't he? Um, a few more things. Firstly, it was great to see the character shown from going 1-0 down. We didn't panic. We stuck to our principles and we were leveled just like that. And from then on, once we took the lead, we controlled the game and we basically put the game to bed before half time. The second thing is the support today was brilliant. You know, it was an early kickoff and it was a game affected by the train strikes as well. So to start the away end was just just great, really. We've got to continue onwards. It's about consistency in this league. The room for error is very, very little. And the most consistent team will win this league. And I hope, I really hope that's not. If you enjoyed the vlog, comment down below your thoughts on the game. Stay subscribed if you're subscribed. Subscribe if you're new. Be safe, be champions, and as always, to loose.